For question number nine, we are going to graph x squared plus y squared minus four x plus six y is equal to twelve. The key for this question is to complete the square. Okay, and let me remind you guys what you need to do. First, uh, we have to do complete the square for um for both x and y. And the technique for completing the square, you first want to um see this x squared plus some number b times x. You want to have this part first. Okay, so let's get to work. That's just the first step, and let's uh, let's make it happen. Have x squared plus y squared minus four x plus six y is equal to twelve. That's the original equation. I want to see the x squared and then the x uh, together, right? So I want to put these two together. The x squared minus four x right here together. So I will first write x squared minus four x. I'm pretty much just put this. After the x square, that's all. And then I also want to put the y square plus six y together. And I'm actually going to leave a gap right here, okay? And then I will write plus y square and then plus six y. And then I will leave a gap again, and that's equal to the number twelve. And as we can see, that we have x square. And notice that we want we want to make sure the number in front of the x square is equal to one. And we have it here. Likewise, for the y, we are also going to complete the square for y, and we have it the right form as well right here. So that's the first thing that you want. Okay. Next, what I need to do is we need to add the number. You take one half, and then you multiply the number b. So one half times b, and then you want to square whatever the number, whatever the result is. You want to add the whole thing right here on both sides. Both sides. So as we can see, that this is why I have it here. So for the x, I have x squared minus four x. What I need to do is I need to um, do one half of negative four and then square that, and then I need to add a number on both sides. So let's do that. So that will figure with this. Um, that will figure out. Um, what number do we need to add right here? So I need to take one half times negative four, which is the b value, and then I need to square that. Okay, so you have two choices for doing this calculation, and we'll first do it by hand, of course. Let's look at the negative four. We need to multiply by one half, so we can just do this as negative four over one, and two goes into two once, two goes into negative four. Um, Twice, negative two times, right? And then negative two to the second power, it's a result of positive four. It's a result of positive four. So I need to add four right here, and also add four on the right hand side. Add four on both sides. Another way to do this, it's your favor. Use the calculator. And then I would recommend you guys to use this calculator because it does fractions very. Um, yeah, it just does very beautiful fractions. Okay, so I need to have a parenthesis. Okay, I have the parenthesis right here, and then I need to have the one half. This is the fraction key on this calculator. So hit the fraction key. To do one half, you just press one on the top, and then you press the down button right here to move this thing downstairs, and then in the two, and that's one half. I notice that little that thing is still on the denominator, right? You want to press right so to kick that thing on the side. And then parentheses that indicates the multiplication of neg negative four. Close parentheses, and then you want to make sure you have a big parentheses for the whole thing. And then you can hit this this button for square, and I like to use this button because this would give me any exponent I want, raised to the second power. That's a shortcut, but this exponent key、um, does everything. Okay, so it's equal to four, and I think this is your favor. So you can just use this to figure out what the number is. However, you need to do this formula right here: one half b square. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, do the same right here. So for the y, I need to take one half and then times six, and then I need to square that. 
write one half times six and square it up. Do it by hand. Uh, six, we can write six as six over one, two goes into two ones, two goes into six. Three times. So inside you have just one times three, which is three. Right? Oh, uh, everything turned out to be just three inside. Three squared is equal to nine. So you plus nine right here, and also on the right hand side. Plus nine on both sides. Okay? And you can also do that on the calculator. I'll leave that to you guys. Alright, moving on. So what do we have? We have x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then plus y squared plus 6y plus 9. That's equal to 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. And if we do this correctly, if we do this part correctly, this right here for the x uh, for these first three terms, this is going to be factorable for sure. Okay, and if you factor this out, meaning that you first put two parentheses, and to get x squared you need x times x, and you have to think about two numbers that they multiply to positive four, and when you add them, they become negative four, and the correct combination is negative two and negative two. You can always factor. Uh, when you do this part correctly, and these two factors have to be always the same. Okay, x minus 2, x minus 2. And we can do the same right here for the y. If we factor this, right, putting put, uh, put two parentheses for y squared, I need y and y. What times y is equal to 9, and then they add up to 6. Positive 3 and positive 3. This has to be factorable. And then they have to be the same factors. Two of these have to be the same factor. That's the technique of completing a square. So all this, so I will get, since I have two of the same, I can write this as x minus 2 square plus, and then y plus 3 square. y plus 3 square. And that's equal to 5. I mean, that's equal to 25. But I will write this as 5 to the second power. I will write the 25 as 5 to the second power. Why do I do that? Because, so let me make a note right here for you guys. Because this form is in exactly the equation of the circle. When we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, if that's equal to something to the second power, this is a circle. Circle. And the center is going to be at h comma k. And then the radius is whatever the r is. So when we have this, right, when we have the equation set in this form, that's why we uh, complete the square earlier, because we can get into the standard form of a circle. So with this, we know the center, and we're going to match the h, right? The number that we're subtracting is the, um, the center. We are subtracting 2 from x. So the center is actually positive 2x, I mean positive 2 for the x. Okay, positive 2x for, positive 2 for the x. Okay, and then the y, we actually have a y plus 2 right here, right? But we're going to look at this as, um, y minus a negative 3. Okay. Then, as you can see, we can match the k value, it's actually negative 3. So the center is going to be at positive 2 for the x, negative 3 for the y. And then the radius that we have here, if you match the formula, the radius is not 25. We have to write this 25 as 5 squared. The radius is equal to 5. The radius is equal to 5. So that's the key. To graph a circle, we need to know the center and the radius. That's the key. And now we can just um, do the graph. So, let me see. Let me do the graph like this. Hopefully I have enough space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that should be enough. 
go to the center first. It said two, comma negative three. So one, two, and then one, two, three. And that's the center. Okay, this is the center. Let me just write this down. Center. And then the radius is equal to five, right? And this is how I like to graph a circle. Starting from the center, you go up five times. One, two, three, four, five, and put a point right there. And then from the center, you go to the right five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And then you also go down five times. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, my picture is not perfect, but uh, you understand how this works, okay? <laughs> Lastly, go to the left five times. One, two, three, four, five. And for this four circle, I mean, for these four points, I'm just going to just connect these four points with the circle. And just draw a nice circle. Okay, I missed this point, right? And just make the point bigger. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, as long as you um, draw a circle and then maybe you would like to indicate that this distance right here, its radius is equal to 5. And that should be a good answer. That should be a correct answer. And you should be able to get full credit on this. You should be able to get full credit on this question. Take one more look. The key is to complete the square. And that's it.